The supplement industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. Most research shows that we are consuming more supplements than we need or we're spending more money than we need to on supplements. So in this video, what I wanna do is share with you a couple tips on how you could save money on supplements and that also includes going over some brands that are probably the better brands for the price. Now, I wanna be very clear, this is not according to me. I have nothing to gain from this by selling supplements. This is according to information that I found on Consumer Labs. Consumer Labs is a third-party testing company um, and they do two things. One thing that they do is they take supplements. So let's say you're looking for a fish oil. They're gonna take all the popular brands of fish oils out there and they're going to test. And what they're gonna do is say, does it pass or does it fail? If it passed, what that means is it has what it says that it has in there and it does not have any contaminants in it, meaning it, it's safe for you to take. Then what they're gonna do is they're gonna break it down and say, hey, here's the cost. Here's what we paid for it. Here's the cost on the shelf. So what is the cost per unit of whatever it is that you're trying to take? And then they're gonna kind of list in order uh, what are the better brands, the ones that passed, and then here's what you're gonna pay for it. And then they're gonna usually give you their top three for each individual supplement. The other thing that's great about Consumer Labs is because it is a paid subscription, you get to weed through all of the misleading claims that are notorious in the supplement industry. And they're gonna have all of the high quality peer reviewed research. And they're gonna tell you exactly what each supplement should be taken for. And does it have any evidence to support that you should take it for that? So here's a couple of rules, um, a couple of tips that are reoccurring themes within Consumer Labs. And the first one is that in the world of supplements, it's an ex the, the rule of you get what you pay for, that's an exception to the rule, I'm sorry, for um, supplements. So you don't necessarily get what you pay for. Um, most, a lot of these supplement companies, they use terms like proprietary blend. Uh, they'll say things like molecularly distilled, pharmaceutical grade. These are all ways to try to get you to buy their supplement and pay more for their supplement. So you don't have to pay a higher amount to get a good quality supplement. Um, the other thing, uh, recurring theme within Consumer Labs that I found kind of reading through all of the research, and this is a really important thing, is a shotgun approach does not seem to be necessary when it comes to supplements. And what I mean by that is, the most common example of that would be a multivitamin. Um, almost most of the research, by and large, shows that if you take a multivitamin, it does not protect you from any diseases and it does not help you get over any diseases more than if you didn't take a multivitamin. What is better is to be very specific with what you want to take. And I'll give you a couple of examples. So let's say you're deficient in vitamin D, which is a common deficiency. So a lot of the supplements out there might just have vitamin D, but a better absorbed form of vitamin D is vitamin D3. Um, the next probably one of the next most common deficiencies out there is magnesium, where there are certain forms of magnesium that aren't well absorbed and other forms of magnesium that are very well absorbed. And unfortunately, a lot of times that shotgun approach, those multivitamins, they're gonna have the cheaper forms of that in there. And just with magnesium, I mean, you, you've got like nine different examples out there, and here's just a couple. There's magnesium citrate, that seems to be better for constipation. There is magnesium malate, which seems to be, work a little bit better for muscle soreness. There's magnesium threonate, which seems to work better for this calming effect for anxiety and things like that. So if you're just taking this generic uh, multivitamin, which form of magnesium are you getting? So that's another reason why maybe a shotgun approach or the um, multivitamin approach may be unnecessary. You're spending money that you don't need to. Um, so let's look at a couple of other reasons before we get into the brands of why people would take supplements. Um, specifically for you, you know that you need it. So let's say joint health, you have arthritis, maybe a glucosamine and chondroitin, maybe a fish oil would be good for you. So you specifically know what's going on. Another example is maybe you have uh, stomach issues. Maybe you need to be taking a probiotic, maybe a digestive enzyme. So you have a condition that you need something specific for you would be a, another you know, reason why you could take a supplement and I think it'd be worthwhile to explore that. Um, and then the third reason is maybe just either sports performance and or muscle recovery. So let's say you're gonna start working out, you wanna gain muscle because it's very important to gain muscle mass um, for our overall health and vitality. 
but you don't consume enough protein. So taking a protein powder, a branched chain amino acid, maybe even taking some creatine could be worthwhile for you to take. Um, so those are the three reasons somebody would take a supplement. You're either truly deficient, you've been tested by a lab, you have a specific condition that a supplement would help you specifically, or you wanna do it for muscle recovery, sports performance uh, enhancements and things like that. So now let's get to the brands of supplements that might save you some money. Um, here's how I came up with this list because this isn't a list posted by Consumer Labs. This is me looking at each individual supplement that are common supplements, the, the, the fish oils, magnesium, vitamin Ds. I just went through, here's some really common supplements that people take that are valuable and beneficial. And then I looked at the top three in each of those and I tried to find the reoccurring themes that I could find. And I wrote them all down and I came up with 12 that seem to be the better supplements. They pass almost every time and they're some of the better supplements for the price within Consumer Labs. Uh, and the first recurring theme is uh, Kirkland Signature. That's Costco's brand. The next recurring theme that I found was GNC, Doctor's Best, Now, Source Naturals, Nature's Made, Nature's Way, Optimal Nutrition, and Optimal Nutrition is a really good one for kind of that sports performance, the, um, the creatines and the proteins and things like that. Pure Encapsulation, Vitacost, NutriCost, and Life Extensions. So there you go, there's a 12 that I kind of came up with. Keep in mind that this list could fluctuate and it could change. So just because I found this now, a year or two years from now, there might be other brands out there. But I think if you kind of stuck within some of those, they would be fantastic. Also keep in mind, if your favorite brand that works for you is not on my list, continue to take it. It doesn't mean that it's not recommended. It, I might have just missed it by one. Um, but if you're looking to take a supplement, I think that any of those could be good options out there for you. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you got something out of this video, great information, encourage me to make more, give us the thumbs up, maybe even subscribe to our channel.